Attorney Jonathan Elson, reminding you that if you've been injured in an auto accident, it's important to have somebody on your side. When you need a lawyer, then you need Nelson. You need Nelson. We're training people to restart our hand count process tomorrow. We've uh, complied with the Secretary of State's wishes as to how we do our hand count, and we've uh, resolved the minor differences, which are how we handle the ballots with gloves and the way we tally using you know, colored pens that cannot, can be distinguished from markings on a ballot so that we know that the ballots will be secure as we do our process. So we're implementing that tomorrow. Uh, the call went out because they knew we had very few days. We've got to finish this by the 17th because after the 17th, we have to lock those ballots away uh, because that's when we'll be certifying. And the call went out yesterday from a variety of different sources, and I had 110 people send emails to me wanting to volunteer. We had 131 people show up today, a lot of them that were part of the process uh, before. But we've had people from Reno, uh, Boulder City, Las Vegas, uh, all over this uh, state, and we've heard that people from Lyon County are coming here to help us out. They just have to be a Nevada voter to be part of our process. You're signing in and you're saying that you're, you, you are a registered voter. So I've got some forms I'm going to ask people to fill out that you know, say they're going to not reveal what we're doing on doing here and they're going to keep the information that they've seen private because you are looking at private information, which is somebody's ballot. It's pretty sacred. And uh, so you're going to be sworn in as election officials when you come to do this. and. Uh, taking an oath that you're going to do the right thing. We had lines like I'd never seen all day long. And uh, what the feedback I got from the poll workers is the number of people that dropped their ballots off to the poll was just overwhelming. Uh, we emptied one of those big ballot boxes twice by noon from people bringing in those ballots. Yeah. The ballots are all back here in the vaults mm -hmm. in the, 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 the prompt clerk's office. And we're going to use those ballots to do our uh, parallel hand count process, as we've been talking about all along. We've modified our procedures to adapt to what the Secretary of State wanted, and we're moving forward. Uh, you know, we know people have lives and they have things to do, but uh, because we only need to create a team of three and they're very focused on just specific tasks, those tasks are easily learned and they can come in and be part of the process with just some minor training that will provide them on the basics of of what they need to know and we'll put them to work. They just come down here to the Valley Electric Conference Facility between eight and five. You know, we prefer people to make a commitment to this, you know, but if we've had it where people come for a day or two and because that's what they can to help out and they'll be put with a team, we may have to wait till some additional people show up to make a team of three, but you know, we'll try our best to put everybody to work. There's always a job to do here. They, we need ballot runners. We have, uh, you can do, be verifying the, the, the tally sheets. So there's always something I can put somebody to work doing. Uh, every night, we're going to submit results to the Secretary of State. If they are uh, county uh, adjusted results, we'll uh, release those and put them on our website the next morning. At night, we have to get uh, confirmation from the Secretary of State, but they post any adjustments that we make to their website and update the results.